when you're fishing big waters in Europe, anywhere like Gigantica or some of the expanses that you're likely to come across, it's important to have the right hardware because you could be fishing 20 yards out on here or you could be fishing 120 yards out. And I want to be able to fish there accurately and with ease, you know. I want to make sure the leads are landing there um, every time. The last thing you want to be doing is having repeated casts to get somewhere. And my choice of hardware is simple. It's an Infinity DF 13 foot three and three quarter. Now that might sound like a broomstick to you, but I promise you it isn't. The other myth that people tend to uh, attribute to a 13 foot rod is that smaller people can't compress them. Now I'm five foot five and I promise you it's made casting a long way very easy. Um, I don't know what it is, it's the increased casting arc, um, but that extra foot really does make a difference. My casting style is quite simple. Um, I take a big step forward, I have my arms straight and right arms are locked up there, everything parallel um, to the floor, then a big step forward, and as I do that, pull hard with the left hand whilst keeping the right arm straight, and I tell you what, these propel leads out very quickly and very easily. Now, to complement that, you've got to have the right reel. There's no point having a real powerful rod and then having a tiny little spooled reel on there because the coils of line coming off won't be right um, and they just won't be the flow of line to match the acceleration of the lead. I use a Basia QDX and I've used them for a few years now and the length of spool complements the line and the, and the 50 mil butt rings on the uh, on the Infinity DFs beautifully you know it does make casting really easy. And onto the line itself, I'm using the tapered subline. Now there's two reasons for that. One is I want the lower diameter of the 12 pound to get me out there in the first place, but because I'm using um, the choddy on the line and there's a lot of weed out there, I love the added security of having a shock leader on there that's all blended in. Um, there's no knots, nothing for the weed to get caught around, but more importantly, that choddy on the line is sinking under the weight of that heavy leader beautifully. So it, it really does complement it very nicely. Um, the other important aspect is, like I say, there's weed out there and I don't want them fish cutting through it. Um, you've got to have the right tackle to match the situation. You know, A lot of people might sacrifice uh, fish safety just to get a rig out there to where they see the fish. But for me, it's all about having balance and that's what the tapered subline gives me. And talking about using those choddies on the line, um, it's important to have a fair bit of slack because if you imagine, if I had a tight line going all the way out to the lead, the likelihood is they'll be lifted off the bottom and not fishing how I want them. So I've got to have a bit of a belly in the line. Um, so it's going out to there nicely, allowing probably the, the, the last 30 to 40 yards towards the lead to be all sunk down and then gradually coming up from the depths of Gigantica to the rod tip. You know, I don't want it all bedded down because there's a lot of weed between me and the rig, so I want a fair bit of line off it. And if you have a look from the rod tips, you'll notice there's just a nice drop in the line and that's just about perfect. So there's my hardware for big fish waters. If you're not using a boat to get your rigs out and you need to cast, then the Infinity DF 13 foot, three and three quarter is the one for me. Well, how about this? <laughs> the uh, camera crew, I might call this the cameraman fish because uh, they just left the site. Um, I'd recast uh, two of my rods back on the spot after baiting up this afternoon. Um, it'd been dead for me for 48 hours, but this one has come at just the right time, really. Proper giving me a lift. Right out of the blue, just recast the rod probably 30, 40 minutes ago, and it ramped off. Same up bait, the caramelly, garlicky, peachy number that I had out there, but absolutely made up 39 pounds. 15 ounces, how about that? That's pretty close, wasn't it? <laughs> but it doesn't matter when they look like this. Awesome, what a way to go into the night. <laughs>